I've pretty much for the past year and a half lived, breathed, everything has been about this. So every inch of training has been about developing and uh, and understanding and growing because I had to I had to stop being just two dimensional Kathak dancer who uh, you know Kathak Bharatanatyam dancer I had to open up a lot more and uh, I think w w for me whether it's a solo or whether it's a group piece I still want to give my best um, so I, even if it's a group piece and even if I'm at the t on the tenth row right at the back I'll want to give a hundred percent and I think also I wanted to do a lot of justice to the choreographers and and the work and the effort and the belief that they put in me you know and I'm completely honored by the fact that they you know they opened themselves up to having a non-contemporary dancer come in and had the patience as well to work with me because it's a different language for this project the first choreographer who I worked with was Larbi um, I went to Antwerp and we, I think he did yoga, just yoga for one week <laughs> with me. So there's nothing, there was nothing else there, just yoga. And I think he just wanted to understand how my body moved because it's from zero to 101 contemporary fast course, it felt like. And um, it was a big jump. So I think he wanted to understand what he could use and, you know, what wasn't usable in there. So Larry was the first person I worked with and doing a lot of yoga and I suppose in-depth analysis of how the body can be used and should be used. In the beginning there was some, some a word that came up to my mind which was constellation, the idea that there are certain stars that are set in a certain place and that you, you relate to these stars and they kind of affect you. Uh, they make you a little bit who you are. Um, at the same time, what I liked, w w an image that came to mind also was the idea that when you look at the sky and you see the stars, you have no idea which ones are close and which ones are far. So somehow everything becomes one dimensional uh, or two dimensional. It's very flat. And yet everything has depth, but somehow you can't see that depth because everything just seems to be on one surface. So I wanted to create something that had that idea where you, you lose uh, depth. You don't really know how far or how close things are. Um, and that's what we've been trying to achieve uh, with Akash and the, and, the, and the light bulbs in which we, we kind of play with this idea of uh, the movement and not really understanding where what's close and what's not close by playing with the intensities of the light and also with his own body in space being closer or further from the audience. And the second person I worked with was Russell Maliphant. Um and that was, uh, an, I think, an intense period um, and working with Russell because he's very, very clever. So the, the year before, I think, I went to Russell for four hours and within the four hours, he had already, by the time he came up, he mapped out exactly what the solo is going to be like. You know, he's very, very smart. Akash came in for that day um, to try things out. Um, we explored, you know, a number of movement ideas and you know there was a great sharpness and articulation that I could see that I could work with um, and I thought it would be an interesting um, kind of marriage of how we work with Akash's vocabulary um, and through through the lighting and um, the idea of form and flow and speed and dynamics um, edit all of those ideas together um, to create something that is highlighted um, and cut um, by the light we had a we had a plan for the light before we came down to the curve, um, which was mostly working in rectangles. And that first day, we thought, well, let's try something that's more defined, um, a smaller, more bright line, and that seemed to give us something that was special. Um, and that that became the thing that we wanted to highlight for the whole 
for the duration of the piece. So we got rid of the um, rectangles and just went for the lines, which gave us a condensed area to work in. And uh, the third person is Akram Khan. And but saying that Akram, I've been working uh, doing in his company doing R and D and performed in his festival for a long time. But so there was a relationship between us already in that way, and um, and almost like a mentor. So it's hard to say which one actually came first. But in terms of this project, I think Larbi came first, and then Russell, and then Akram. I want you to have an opportunity to work with a dancer who hasn't trained in uh, contemporary dance necessarily, but who has. Uh, Indian classical training, both in Kathak and Bharatnatyam, and which Akash has. And for 11 years, I've been um, working with contemporary dancers who hasn't, who don't have the, the the training of Indian classical dance. So for me, it was important to to find a, a moment in my career and uh, an opportunity to to work with such a dancer who who is trained in both uh, Indian classical dance forms. Um, with the absence of contemporary dance. I think the tricky thing was to bring it all together into one evening because each one requires a different frame of mind and I think the way I do it which is um, it's, it's like when you do a classical uh, Indian evening you know we have repertoire so you'll have an expressive repertoire uh, a technical uh, item etc 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 but each one requ requires a different energy so i try and have a mental image i think or a feel of each one which i bring back to the stage uh, but sometimes they do cross over a little bit you know <laughs>